Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time to munch on something good. That's right, I said munch on. Maybe you say snack on something good, but anything is better than eating salty potato chips while viewing your favorite movie or television show, right? Uh, I'm sure I will get someone to disagree with me, but look we are making pickled cucumbers today So you're going to need cucumbers red onions and garlic Let's get started. So here I have Cucumbers because this is pickled cucumber recipe So let's start by washing our cucumbers thoroughly i'm slicing them here i'm just showing you you know about the width of cutting that you should be looking for you don't want to cut too thin and you don't want to cut too thick about a half an inch will do so just cut 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 these cucumbers and you may say well miss k what kind of cucumber should i buy any type of cucumber will work just make sure that it doesn't have too many seeds. So I'm going to go on and finish cutting these cucumbers. The next item that we'll need for this delicious snack time favorite is red onion. Now, if you have watched any of my videos, you know that I love cooking with white onions because they have that bold, taste that I so love in cooking with different types of foods but for this recipe I am going to use a red onion now you can peel your red onion however you want to I always take off the first layer that's how I do mine you do your onion however you want to do it just peel off that outer you know that outer part of that red onion I like to kind of get down under that first layer just to make sure, you know, cause yeah. Well, anyway, this is my onion and this is how I'm peeling it. <laughs> so go in and peel your onion and then we're going to make sure that we also cut off both ends of the onion, you know, both ends of it, mm -hmm, like so. So move on over there and let's cut. Mmm, isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful already. So how should we cut our onion? Well, let's do it the same way we did when we were cutting our cucumbers. Half inch slices. Now you can do your cutting uh, different ways. If you wanted to lay one flat end down and cut your red onion in half and then make half slices, you can do that. I'm going to show you both ways of uh, the different cuttings that you can use for your canning because we are going to put these in jars now after you make the rings by slicing them you can go on and slice them in half you know it really depends on just how you want your onion slices to be inside of your jar it's totally up to you for this recipe that I'm doing I'm going to leave mine uh, in ring size portions just like so but I'll do a couple of them showing both ways and then you can decide when it's time for you to actually do the recipe how you want to do it now please let's not waste time with these garlic cloves okay take the back of that knife put it right on the back of that garlic and give it a nice thump and let's go on and peel them you're going to cut each garlic clove in half okay so all of our cucumber slices were all cut up nicely and now I'm going to add about a quarter cup of kosher salt to my cucumbers. And you may use a little less, you be the judge of it, okay? But a quarter cup is more than enough. Uh, less, you can certainly do less. It depends upon you. Now, you're saying, well, why are we even putting any salt on this? 
the salt will draw out the moisture from the cucumber slices and that's how it will maintain that crispiness and the slices will start to take on some of the salty taste so just go on and give them a nice stir with your hands come on get all in there and we're going to let this sit for 30 minutes so don't forget to time this step 30 minutes only after 30 minutes you're going to rinse your cucumbers off in cold water so i have my strainer already ready there's no set amount of time uh, for this step right here take your time take your time with each cucumber and thoroughly wash all the excess salt off believe me there is enough salt left in these cucumbers for your recipe. Now it's time to make our brine. I've already gotten started. Because, you know, I can't wait to taste this anyway. So, what we'll need is a 1-2-3 ratio. If you can remember 1-2-3, okay, then you will be making no mistakes at all with this recipe. So, right now, I am going to use the 1-2-3 ratio. That's one cup of white vinegar. Mm-hmm. Two cups of sugar and three cups of water okay one cup of white vinegar two cups of sugar and three cups of water and that's all you will need to make this brine so I you know I had already started already so I'm just adding in my extra cups of water and remember take your time with this process that's one of the things I like about pickling uh, different vegetables and different fruits. You know, it's, it's about self-care, just taking time out. Maybe you had a stressful day or a stressful week. You just want to do something for yourself or for your family. This is that relaxing time. You know that you're going to probably be putting some of these away or putting a couple of them in the refrigerator. This is just your time to do so. And can you all see my Afro Edenic earrings? Mm -hmm. I wore them just for you today. Yes, I did. Well, no, actually I didn't, but they went with the outfit that I had on. <laughs> okay, so I'm giving this a nice stir and cooking this over medium high heat. I want to make sure that my sugar is completely dissolved. Now, which jars should we use? They all look the same, don't they? But they're really not. Mm -mm. Because here I also am using white mouth, mouth lids. Wide, what did I say? Did I say wide? Okay. I meant wide mouth. Mm -hmm. That's a blooper. A wide mouth jar. Now, here's the difference. And you can clearly see it. Here's a small lid. Here's a larger lid. So you can definitely see which one is going to be my wide mouth lid. And you know, the great thing about this is that when you're making different vegetables, depending on how you cut them, the wide mouth works best. So let's start putting this together. I'm gonna use a wide mouth and small mouth canning jars just so you can see the difference. Look, don't go out and buy something that you don't have. If you have the wide mouth, use the wide mouth. If you have uh, the smaller mouth canning jars, use them, okay? Make use of what you have in your kitchen. So we're going to just start creating layers. The first layer, of course, was my two cloves of garlic that I have at the bottom. And now I'm putting in my cucumbers. You want to make sure that your cucumbers are laying fairly flat. We want to occupy 
every space inside of our jars. Now you know I have to add some spice. So just add a few of your peppercorn seeds and you know that's gonna look nice in your jar anyway. This is all about presentation. You want your jars to look presentable. Now let's add some fresh dill. Ah, oh, dill, he loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the recipe. Yes, let's add some fresh dill. You got to have fun in the kitchen, right? Okay, so I'm just adding dill. That's going to really make these pickled cucumbers and onions pop. That nice, fresh dill. Now, if you're a person that doesn't like dill, then, you know, make the dill optional. But I'm telling you, the dill is really going to make this recipe pop. Okay? So now it's time for our onions. Now, you see that? How you gotta really put that in there? So the wide mouth works. And then those are the ones that I cut in half. It depends on how you want to cut your onions. So don't stress out about the onions. They're gonna make you cry anyway when you start cutting them, so don't stress out about it. Just put the onions in there, it's going to be good anyway. All right, press, press, and repeat the process all over again. Okay, so this is what our jars now look like. So I decided to use five of them instead of six. And for my fifth jar, this is just onions. So I had quite a few onions that were left. I just decided to do a jar uh, of the red onions and then the rest of these are the pickles. So Ma, what do you think? Beautiful. Yeah, you like it? I like it. Okay, I love it. Can't wait to try it? Can't wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the brine in all five of the jars. And then I'll probably keep two out um, and put those in a refrigerator. And then I'll uh, can the other three and go on and put it in the water bath to create that nice seal for them. Mm -hmm. and then we can have those for a later time or give them away as gifts or whatever okay so two will go in the refrigerator three will go into the water bath solution so that they can have the proper seal for canning good. does this mm -hmm. remind you of grandma or great it's, grandma it's just a little different but okay. basically yes okay so how in, in what way was it different for grandma or great grandma well, um, I remember the cucumbers. Okay, the cucumbers. And um, I'm not sure about the onions and all. Okay. Yeah, but I know it was good. Did they use dill in theirs or no? I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm really not sure. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, that looks so pretty. It is beautiful. Yes. And I just, I love canning. I just, I guess that's that, that, um, what is that, that country? Yeah, that country. I'm a city girl with a, a country flair. Yes. A friend of mine calls me, um, uh, uh, what does he call me? He calls me urban with a southern twist. Oh, that <laughs> sounds cute. Urban with a southern twist. So. Wow. Again, this is um, great practice yes. for men and women. Ladies, right. again, this is uh, truly something to be handed down and mm, yes. and uh, let your your daughters or your sons. This is this is a good skill right here. It is, and it it's, is. it's survival. It is, and it may come a time that um, you know this. You won't have this in your home mm -hmm. I mean from the store right and uh, you can do it 
on your own. Right. And it's good to learn how to do things on your own. It's definitely good. It's definitely good. Mm hmm And you know, this is Black History Month that we're celebrating. Right. And you know, our people were always being creative. Yes, Lord. Their hands during that time were always about busy. Busy doing good things. Good things. Yes. <laughs> Canning. Yes. Was one of the major things. Yes. They canned mm -hmm. um, for the winter. Okay. Because uh, on a farm, mm -hmm. everything is dried up. And so you relied on your canned foods that you had. Your beans okay. And, Whatever else, your peaches or whatever else you have, you can those things for the winter. And that's what we ate. We put up things for the winter. So as you all know, as, as uh, my mom, a.k.a. my pastor, <laughs> is uh, talking, I'm just uh, releasing any air bubbles. Okay. Uh, even though I'm going to put a couple of these in the refrigerator, I still want to release... Uh, to release did I say release release I meant release maybe I'm so happy I can't wait till these are are finished and I get to taste them so and they all fresh and they're all yes very yeah. fresh and you know what also um, so the two that will go in the refrigerator um, I'm going to leave them in there about two or three days kind of like how we did the uh, pickled watermelon rind. We let it sit in there. Um, I'm not going to place it in the refrigerator upside down like I did the pickled watermelon rind. Okay, because uh, this is pretty heavy. This is pretty compact. So I, I won't need to turn those upside down. But yeah, this looks good. Okay, so I'm going to finish letting the air bubble out of these. I'm going to go on and put our tops on and um, we're going to wait a couple of days for the ones that are going in the refrigerator. Um, the other three are going to go, like I said, in the water bath so that they can um, receive their proper, their proper canning, bathing time. And um, I'll check back in with you and we'll taste it together. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so welcome back. It has been a couple of days now, and I cannot wait to taste our pickled cucumbers. But before I do, I just want to remind you, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video, and then don't forget to hit the bell notification so that anytime I go live or upload a video, you will be the first to know. Now these are the ones that I have canned to put away. And let's just take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all those beautiful, beautiful colors in there. We got green, we've got the, the red onions, and we've got the peppercorns. There's one right there. Oh, wow. This reminds me of the pickled watermelon, right? Okay. And then there was one that I did where it was just the pickled red onions because I had enough of those left over so the only thing differently that I'll probably do next time is just add a little bit more red onions because I did have another red onion so it would have been easy for me just to cut up another red onion and add a few more but this is good okay and then you can like I said buy these labels um, in the store and uh, put your labels on there and you're good to go all right, so I have three of those, and then I have the one pickled red onion. So there was one that I put in the refrigerator. So this is the moment to try it. So let me grab that right quick out the refrigerator. Okay. All right, here's our jar. I haven't put my label on it yet. So I just did these on the computer and I like these labels try to get the ones um, that easily wash off the labels wash off when you wash your jars it, it will really save you so let's do this let's just because I just took this out the refrigerator so I'm just gonna let this kind of 
I don't want it to sweat my label off. It shouldn't, but let's just give it a moment. But let's taste it, because that's what, that's what we want to do. So let's taste it. Okay, I'm going to use a fork for this. All right, here we go. the dill right here at the top look at that look at that mm, look at that dill right at the top I know this is gonna be good okay here we go I got some garlic that floated up to the top now remember when I put these in the refrigerator I didn't store them upside down like I did with the uh, pickled watermelon so let's see I got a little dill on this one y'all want to taste look at that look at that Ooh, look at that, it's so pretty. Mm. There's that crunch. There's that crunch. I like the taste of the white vinegar, which I can't even taste at all. I can't even taste any vinegar. It's sweet. Um, uh, it just has the right consistency of the sugar. Uh, it's definitely not salty at all. And it's crispy. Let me taste one more. Mm. I don't know what y'all waiting for. I don't know what y'all waiting for. Come on, do this recipe. Pickled cucumbers. You'll enjoy it. And I'll see you on the next time. Bye-bye.